we want to show you how to draw a gear using AutoCAD and you got to do using a circle you just choose a circle here and uh, you create a circle for example with a radius of 5 for example so if it's about the radius of 5 just click 5 then you type 5 and you press enter as you can see it's a bit bigger in size just required to zoom a bit so that you can see it in this case you require to come and put now the offset of this you can just click this offset we have this offset and with this offset now you can put this uh, of uh, offset distance which is now 2.5 2 2.5 and you just press enter then you can you to now choose select the object offset click and now you go to say, specify the say, point side you want to offset you just come to the center as I you draw those offset side then you require to come here and you do uh, you choose another tool called polygon even once you choose polygon just click polygon and now you can come here and draw now a polygon here you want for three sided because it's, uh, by default is four sided just two three type three and press enter now you have specify the center of the polygon my center of polygon i can just choose to be there and you'll be getting inscribed circle the subscribe circle you just choose inscribed circle click there and now you can draw uh, the kind of a triangle you want here as you can see this triangle you can choose for example that triangle uh, there you can just click like that that is for around one and this one now you can just choose move tool you choose a uh, move tool and just come move like this up to somewhere up to somewhere there but one thing you realize you just come up to the center you can either just uh, come here we have the something called object snap just click there object snap to deactivate object snap and you come click move and you come you click that tool there with the, when the object snap is off and just come and put it somewhere there you automatically see it will go there there are no problem then uh, just come here you choose rain and because the gears doesn't have that sharp uh, pointed uh, the side you need to come here and trim a bit just click there and just draw a straight line like this just press enter you require to come and trim all those by trimming just require to come here uh, for trim uh, to there uh, select object or select all as for me I choose to select all then you can right click and uh, once you right click the mouse the uh, press enter then you can just come and start trimming where you want by just clicking trim there uh, trim, uh, trim there trim there trim there and you trim there you get that kind of a shape then uh, once you do like that you can just escape once you escape then you can just come you do something called uh, array in this array you can see we have uh, array just click array once you get click array you get the rectangle then we have array and pora array as for me i'm dealing with the pora array just click pora array then click select objects and your object here it is this line this one and this one there are three of them then you can either press enter or right click the mouse uh, then after that you need to do something called peak center point so you have to come to this one here and you choose peak center point your center point because now you can't see it you require to go to object snap again and activate object snap 
you can see o snap is on now you get this as your center point just click there to get your center point and you can see now you are drawing how it is being arrayed for three objects selected now you can come the number of items here you want for example you can just come and put 16 once you put 16 because I'm not sure you can just come and preview as you can see you can see how your gear look like in any case you're not comfortable with you can just come and click and go out again but if it's okay no problem and then you need to come here and trim the sides let's click trim again and you come and write all of them like that then you start uh, you right click and start uh, trimming as you can see you just trim like that and be careful so that you don't erase the sides you want let's come you trim like that uh, up to there uh, once you are through your trimming now you can just escape and you do something called pedit just come here under command button type pedit for polyline as you type pedit we start for polyline press enter you will be told select polyline or multiple in my case just click one line uh, one line and you can see we have more option there which is i need now to join i need to join then once i choose to join i can just highlight all of them and i press enter once i'm through with the joining now i can just come here i escape once i escape now i can see the moment you just point your object become one as you can see it's become one then if you want a gear with maybe uh, holes uh, on this side you can just come and draw another circle a small circle for example like that one come at the, here the center and draw a circle for example of 1.5 or 0 0.5 for example with a radius of 0 0.5 and press enter it is now the circle I have which is now the diameter of 1 inch you can just come here I click there and once I click there I can just come here and choose this one I go up to somewhere there once I put there I can do the same offset it is I go to a uh, array so once you click array then you come select the object to array uh, that is my object right click Pick center point. The center point is here. And now you see we have 16 of them. There are too many. You can see there are too many of them. Let me just put 12. So I put 12. And now I click OK. As you click OK, now you can see the object you have gotten now. But this one will require bear in mind because you need a 3D gear. You need to do something called extrude so you just come here you click extrude you add a command line just type extrude just type extrude as you can see you can just type extrude and a command line then you press enter you press enter you get select object to extrude my object to extrude I need all of them so I need to write entire drawing like that and I press enter once you press enter then you can see we have specified the height of extrusion all direction path tipper or angle uh, tipper angle in my case I need the height of extrusion whereby I can put for example 6 can I put for example 6 inches so I need to type uh, to type 6 uh, specify the height of extrusion whereby you can just uh, the height of extrusion can just type 6 and press enter once you press enter you, will, you won't see this drawing until now you change to isometrical just come and choose isometrical at the 3d navigation 
and now you can see you are drawing in three dimension but in this one it is now in a wireframe now you can come under view yeah, the view menu just click hide and you can see how it look like that's how now you're drawing you can choose to click the and change the color to a different color for example well, there you can put lead i escape i need to put this one now a different color for example magenta or maybe green just escape now you just click hide again you can see now the the drawing of mine i need now to go to command line again and type subtract you need to type subtract type subtract once you type subtract in the command line just press enter and it will give you select the objects my object is this i press enter and now i select the other one which is here i press enter as you can see we go to view again and click hide you see now it have a, a hole uh, inside i need even to do the same to this ones so i just you can either right click repeat hide or recent input whereby my recent input is subtract this is the one i want these are some of the commands all those are just some of the commands i have used is what they are in the recent input just click subject subtract i click there i press enter then i need to write one by one just click all those uh, holes one by one you just uh, write uh, select all one by one and see you can see now i'm through and i press enter as i press enter you can just view and hide again view and click hide again now you can see how is my drawing look like it is drawing nice that is one of the 3d i need now to change this one from now the three uh, the visual style which was now the 3d as a 3d wireframe I need to change now to be realistic. This one or the conceptual, you can change one of them. Let me change to a reali uh, realistic. Just come and click the view, visual style, then realistic, and click there. You can see my smart uh, gear. And now I can just keep here. I click continuous, continuous here can choose now continuous orbit and now i can pull just like that and i start enjoying now my 3d drawing in a very simple way to draw a gear that's how simple it is subscribe for more tutorial downloads and you learn more with us such as kenya and you get more ideas about AutoCAD among other programs. Thank you. And you can just look us on Sachem Kenya, our fan page, or Twitter handle Sachem.Kenya, Instagram, Twitter. And our website is www.sachemkenya.com. Thank you.